Chinese pod, we have a lesson in spoken Mandarin. We're coming from Shanghai, China. My name is Ken Carroll. And I'm Jenny. And Jenny, I know you're going to tell us about the topic yes. today. What is it, please? We have something to tell all of our potties. Okay. We love you. We love you. Mm. Yes, we do. We really do. And that is the topic, Confession oh, of Love. <laughs> oh, you mean we don't love them? No, we do, we do, we do. Sorry. Yes. Of course we do, but it's also the topic of today's lesson. All mm. right. So we're talking about love and expressing love in Chinese, in Mandarin. Yeah. So this is a really basic lesson. If you have never studied Chinese before, you'll get something from this lesson. Mm. Uh, now, so what we'll do is we'll have the dialogue three times and we'll be back Immediately thereafter, and then we'll help you to piece it together. Dialogue first time. 我爱你。对不起，我有男朋友了。我不信，真的。Second time. 我爱你。对不起，我有男朋友了。我不信，真的。Third time. 我爱你。对不起，我有男朋友了。我不信，真的。Okay, let's translate this, baby. 我爱你。I love you. 我爱你。I love you. 我爱你。I'm sorry, but I have a boyfriend. 对不起,我有男朋友了。I'm sorry, I have a boyfriend. 对不起,我有男朋友了。我不信。I don't believe you. 我不信。I don't believe you. 我不信。真的。I'm really. 真的. It's true. 真的. Ouch. Love hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I would be uttering these words this morning when I left the house. You know, <laughs> I have a boyfriend. I didn't. But anyway, there you go. So uh, let's take it from the top, right? So you have uh, the world uh, over, mm. you know, the three words. Um, are there languages that have, that use more than three words to say I love you or less? That's an interesting mm. question. If anybody out there knows of one, you could tell us. But anyway, in Chinese, as in English, as in most of the languages I know, the words I love you. 我爱你。我爱你。Good. Now, the three elements, it's the same structure, essentially, mm. as English, yes. you know, word order. So, the pronoun for I is... 我 我, 我, third tone. Third tone. The verb to love is 爱, 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 fourth, tone, fourth tone. Fourth tone. An emphatic I. And yes. And uh, the pronoun you is 你, 你. And that's also third tone. Yes. So um, rather than trying to memorize all these, you know, individual numbers, uh, mm. it's better to sing it. So let's hear the phrase a couple of times, please, Jenny. 我爱你。我爱你. Good. Now, I'm sure there's plenty of guys who are happy to hear you saying that, Jenny. You know, I love that, saying that. Okay, good. So that, that's how you sing it. And it's always remember to. It's always easier to remember how the, the music of Chinese yeah. rather than the numbers. So, 我爱你, and that's it. Now, uh, here's another way to sing when you want to fob someone off straight away <laughs> with the expression, I'm sorry about that. And it's... 对不起。对不起。对不起。对不起。uh, without going into too much detail, it just means sorry. Sorry. Now, what contexts could we use "对不起"? Um, from very casual. Casual. Like you accidentally bump into somebody. Okay. Or something very serious, as in this one. Okay. When you're rejecting someone. Uh, uh, you. Oh God, <laughs> which you have to do from time to time. Mm. Okay. So "对不起" it's pretty much the equivalent of the, of the English "sorry" or "sorry about that." Yes. It could be used in many, many contexts. You bump into someone on a train, or you you cause some problems somewhere, or mm. whatever it is, you break someone's heart. You say. 对不起, 
There you go. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Chinese Pod Trivia. Our first question is How long will it take you to become an intermediate Chinese speaker using the Chinese Pod app? Is it A, the rest of your life? B, you should already be an intermediate speaker? C, three months? Or D, Chinese Pod has an app? Uh, you should already be in. Ooh, that is incorrect. The correct answer is C, three months. That's right. Head over to ChinesePod.com now to register for your access to over 4,000 lessons. Get the Chinese Pod app now on Google Play or the App Store. Now, the phrase, uh, why did she debut? She did it because she. Now, the word for boyfriend is. 男朋友, 男朋友. 男朋友. Mm. Now, again, you know, the music, listen to the music of it rather than trying to chop it up and remember all the details. Uh, so, But literally, uh, it is the same as in English. Nan means male. male mm. And the 朋友 means friend. friend. So putting it together one more time, it's... 男朋友, 男朋友. Good. Now, I have... 我有, 我有. Good. And when you put it together, I have a boyfriend. It's. 我有男朋友了。我有男朋友了。Now, 我有男朋友了. at the end, we have the la, which is a mm. particle. Yes. What does it add to the sentence? Because we could say, we could 我有, say it without the la, mm, right? Yes. What totally acceptable. Fine. The la uh, indicates a present perfect aspect okay. so i've already i okay. have already have a boy okay it kind of adds a, a, a slight degree like an I'm element taken. yes a certainty yes uh. a, a degree of 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 emphasis i suppose yes. yeah but you could say without it so you mm. could say or oh, you could say it 我有男朋友。我有男朋友。or or you could say 我有男朋友了。我有 I guess here in the context, it just kind of adds that little extra emphasis. Just don't be getting any, Double any ideas. Double <laughs> rejection. <laughs> okay. Now, um, what an interesting chap here. He says, look, I don't believe you. 我不信。我不信。信. Now, mm. the verb 信 means to believe. Yes. Right? Mm. Uh, it's also sometimes expressed as 相信。相信. 相信, okay. Mm. Both are fine. Yeah. Uh, so you could say 我不相信, 我不相信. Or in this case, as we simplified it to 我不信, 我不信. So both of these mean I don't believe. Now, mm. the pronoun 我, as we had, is I. Yes. Right? Mm. And 不, the negative. The negative means not. not. So literally translated, it would be I not believe. Yes. There you go. So let's hear that again, please, Jenny. 我不信。我不信. But you want to assure this persistent suitor of yours that you really mean it, and so you say. 真的。真的。真的, 真的, mm. meaning not for sure. It's real. Yes. That's it. That's yeah. the way it is. That's the deal. That's the deal. 真的。真的。真的。now, uh, 真的 is first tone on 真, right? Correct. 真的 mm. means real for sure, and that's the way it is. Now, 真的 can be used as um, the expression really or yes. for sure in English, is, which is super flexible, mm. and it's just meant to, 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 to reassure someone that what's going on is, is the case. Mm. 真的. Okay, let's listen to this three more times. Dialogue first time. 我爱你。对不起，我有男朋友了。我不信，真的。Second time. 我爱你。对不起，我有男朋友了。我不信，真的。Third time. 我爱你。对不起。我有男朋友了。我不信。真的。
Um, it's interesting culturally here. Uh, this is a, is this an unlikely conversation? Who knows? I, mean, I don't think so. No, really? I think people are aggressive nowadays. <laughs> you mean they're just coming up <laughs> really to people? Really put themselves out there. <laughs> <laughs> you mean they're just coming up to saying up to people and saying, "Well, I need." And I don't believe that you. Well, yeah, mm. well, Maybe. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I love you. I don't care. Uh. Um, yeah, it's kind of. I, I, I couldn't imagine this like a few years ago in China, but it's yeah. things are changing. Time has changed. Absolutely. And it's a guy saying it to a girl. Do you think it's possible a girl would you'd hear a girl yeah, say it to a guy? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I have personally said that many times. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. I'm Jenny. I'm yeah, I, or it could be a girl to another girl, mm, or yeah. a guy to another guy. Yes. Who knows what's going on these mm. days? So there you go. So this is your all-purpose love language here on Chinese Pod. As I said, this is uh, this is high-frequency language. Uh, my 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 little insight tip here today is seeing those phrases. This is known as Lexis mm. rather than grammar, right? The approach we take, where we take phrases. And stick them together, uh, phrases that you're likely to hear, and that's a lexical approach, and it's more effective, I believe, in grammar in many mm. ways, it's particularly from a Chinese perspective, because remembering the tones as numbers is hard, but when you remember them as a collection or a sound yeah. or a musical sound, it's much much easier. Mm. Now, what you need to do next is go to ChinesePod.com and explore this language in a lot more detail, and. Uh, we should fall in look. love. Indeed, with fall in love with Chinese pod. Yeah, and you can turn around and say Chinese pod. Well, I need. There you go. Mm. We'll be back again tomorrow with another lesson. Uh, in the meantime, as I said, go to ChinesePod.com and go out and practice this dialogue yes. with people you see on the have street. Have fun. Let us know the reaction mm. you have. Maybe your score. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll be back again tomorrow with another lesson. Right now, it's time to say Zai Zai Jian. Jian. As usual, ChinesePod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number 0564. So just go to www.chinesepod.com slash 0564 and you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again, www.chinesepod.com slash 0564.